Welcome back to you Learn Tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at logos that have colored backgrounds and making it transparent. As you can see here, we are looking at about say nine different logos on a company website. These are actually corporate partners for their company. And they actually have about, I guess, seven logos here that have a transparent background. But the other two logos, such as Coastal Gasling as well as NG Canada, actually have a white background. One of the key things I normally do before I start this project is look at the company website to make sure I have the correct and updated logo. According to this website, their logo is in green. The one thing you could also do is do a search on the company website to see if they have any logos or any guidelines. So if I actually enter the logo and check that out, um, right off the bat it tells me they don't have anything information on their logos or their branding or the guidelines by the looks of it. I can also type in guidelines. And let's see how they have. Uh, nope, looks by the looks of they have nothing here. So we will need to create a different way of creating this logo. I like to use Google as my search engine. In the search box, I will enter the company name as well as the words annual report PDF. What it does, Google will do a search on the company with the words annual report and PDF. For this tutorial, I already know that the company does not have an annual report, but I do know that the second link is the one that we're going to be using for this tutorial. Go ahead and down, click on the link and it will either download to your desktop or to your download folders. Once you have downloaded the file to your computer, go ahead and locate it and open it through Illustrator. Illustrator will open up with a pop-up box called PDF Import Options. And what this allows you to do is you can actually view each page to see where that logo is. We already know the logo is on the very first page and so that's the page we want. You can either enter your page or you can enter all of them. So let's click on just leave as one and click on OK. When you open a file in Illustrator, a missing fonts dialog box may or may not open. If it does not open, if you don't get this dialog box at all, it tells you that you're not missing any fonts. In this example, I am missing fonts. Anything that's highlighting pink is telling me I have missing fonts and must either resolve it or activate it. Because the missing font doesn't affect my logo, I'm going to go ahead and click on close. So what I want to do, I want to remove this logo from this PDF. I'm going to go ahead and use the selection tool, which is the black tool or V on our keyboard. Select it at once. If my logo is highlighted in blue, it means that just this logo is being selected, not the background. And it all depends on what types of tools you use. You can use the direct selection tool, you can also use the group selection tool, and you can do read more about it down in, my, in the comments side. But for now, for this tutorial, we're just going to use this tool. I'm going to exit out, Command X, and I no longer need this file anymore, so go ahead and just close it off. So Command W or Control W to close it off. And let's not save it, just in case we have to go back to it. We need to create a new document. So go ahead on the left-hand side, Create New, and enter the dimensions that you want. 400 by 200 pixels sounds pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and cl click on the Create button. Once I have my file here, a new canvas, so to speak, I'm going to go ahead and paste this into my canvas board. Command V or Control V. We want to resize this logo. And so if we take one of the corners and resize it, you will notice that right off the bat it's actually kind of distorted. It's not resized proportionally. Let's go Command Z or Command Z. If you wanted to constrain this logo to be proportionally, make sure you hold down the Shift key and take it by the corners to resize it proportionally, like so. So I'm going to do here, I'm going to just resize this logo. I'm going to give it some padding at the edges here. Oops, reselect it, and there we go. We're going to save this file with two different file formats. One as a schedule vector graphic, another one as a portable network graphic, or better known as PNG. First of all, we're going to save this file as a schedule vector graphic. Go to File, Save As, Tell it where you want to go. I'm going to save it to my desktop and name your file as well. And the very bottom here, change your format to Scalable Vector Graphic. Click on Save. A Scalable Vector Option dialog box will pop open. These are the default settings for Illustrator. I haven't had any issues with this, so I'm going to say click on OK. And now this logo is saved. It may appear to you that we actually have a white background behind our logo. We don't. To make sure we don't, you can go to View show transparency grid and right off the bat it does show you that there's nothing behind this logo so we don't actually have a white background or a color background behind this logo now we need to save this logo as a png or for the web 
So we need to go File, Export, Save for the Web. And you can save it as in PNG because we do want it as a transparency background. And that is our size, 400 by 200 pixels. If you would notice here, we actually have some spacing here, some padding on the top as well as on the bottom. To be honest with you, we should actually clean up this logo even more so that we can actually maximize the size of this logo. Click on Cancel at the very bottom. To resize this artboard, there's a couple ways of doing it. Locate your artboard panel. If your artboard panel is not showing, go to your window, click on Artboards, click on this icon once, and a pop-up box called Artboard Options will open, and you can enter your width as well as your height. We know in this example our width is 400, but our height we're not too sure, so you will have to play around with this number here. And once you're OK, click on OK. My favorite way is to do the document setup right up here. Document setup, click on edit artboards, and here we can actually manually just change our size as we speak. Once you have resized your artboard in document setup, go in your head and just touch one of these tools here, it doesn't matter which one you pick, so that it applies this artboard size to for you. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure you save this file. So again, you can go file, save as, or save. And if you want to name it to different versions, you're more than welcome to. So they have a different version or version two and click on save or just overwrite your current logo. Either or works. And then click on OK. So we're now ready to save this file as a PNG. So go to file, export, save for the web. Right now our logo looks pretty good, which is what we want. And up here we want as a PNG as well as a transparency. Now if you turn off transparency, you will see a white background, which is not what we want. And click it back on to have it transparent. And once you're okay with that, click on save. Another dollar box will pop open. It will ask you if you want to optimize this picture. In this case, we're going to save it as a logo, that's just we have here. Uh, what I may do, because I have versions in here, I'm just going to go ahead and just clean that up a bit. Just get rid of the versions here. I'm going to save it as a PNG, which we want. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Click on save. And there we go. If this was my company page, I would now go ahead and replace that logo. I may make that logo a little bit bigger and more prominent. And it may look like something like this. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it or share it. And also tell people about it.